players and then there's playmakers. And Vincey Glenn is a playmaker. Well, if Anderson hits this, this will be his longest field goal of the season. Anderson tries to extend the Eagle lead, and he is short. The wind may have played with it, the kick not long enough, and the Giants escape the bullet again. 8.07 in the third quarter, Eagles 14, New York 6. Gary Glanville, this is Kevin Harlan, Pam Oliver on the sideline, first and goal from the 10, and Charlie Garner, like a torpedo, submarines to the 6 and a gain of 4, met by Agnew and Michael Brooks. Now watch the Eagles, they're going in with a lead blocker. First man in's got to make, he's got to splatter somebody as he rolls on through there. That's McCrary, 41, Jerry. Look at that. Don't let the back go in there without a lead man in front of you. That's a rookie leading the way. Nice job, Fred McQuarrie. Eagles not too bad capitalizing on the opposition's mistakes. Second down goal, ball at the seven. Cunningham fumbled by Waters, who leads the league in that category. And it's recovered by the New York Giants. They get the ball. Marcus Buckley in his first NFL start has just broken the heart of Eagle coach Ray Rose. And Guy McIntyre, the guard, got into confusion. They're pulling a guard, and he got in the, in the confusion and banged everybody. Watch this guard pull along with the handoff, and you can see everybody's messed up. They bang, he's bumping into him. Oh, the ball's on it. You've got to make that play. Do you know what we've done the last four possessions here? Interception, Giants. Interception, Philadelphia. Interception, Giants. Fumble, Philadelphia. Wow. And Ricky Waters a bit upset on the sideline. Randall Cunningham has been in for two series, and he has had two turnovers. Which quarterback do the Giants come back with, Kevin? Tommy Maddox from the 12. First down and 10. Giants are still breathing. Heavy, but they're breathing. And walking. To the 13. Kurt Gavea, the stop. We are in the fourth. And about a minute gone. Kurt Gavea, has he played? Here's a guy from Hawaii. Was a, was, a, was a player of the year on the island in high school as a quarterback. And Jerry, they've got him replacing Byron Evans, who, you know, had that horrible accident last year. A couple of busted knees, a broken leg, and Gavea comes in from the Redskins. Unrestricted free agent, leads the team in tackle. Native, uh, native of Hawaii said he grew up eating poi with two fingers. He was a two-finger dipper on the point. A two-finger dipper, second down and ten. Screen pass. Hampton, the block. Bishop. The game to about the 15. William Thomas closed it in a hurry. A screen. When you're in a screen, Kurt Cavea, we're just talking about him. You got to play plays in open space with hands. Protect your leg. Watch him play all hands. Don't let anybody hit your pad on a space play. Space means an open field. Now I'm in the open field. I got to play hands. Look, look at him, hands. Hands, skate, skate, get to the ball. I am very impressed with William Thomas. Hampton is out of the game. He was holding his broken right hand as he walked off. Third down and eight. Maddox is in the gun from the 15-yard line. Giants trailing 14 to six. Good time for Maddox to throw it in. Oh, it was knocked away at the last second. Howard Cross got a hand on it. I don't know if he was playing defensive back or if he was trying to go for the ball, but Mark McMillan just about had the pick. We're in the fourth quarter here. Let's go back to Hollywood. Here's the McDonald's game break, and here's James Brown. All right, Kevin, San Diego has lost two straight. Key to their hopes today, the injured shoulder, the status of, of Stan Humphreys. They'll be taking on the Dallas Cowboys. That'll be coming up in the second half of our doubleheader. Most of you will see that game, Dallas at San Diego. Back to Kevin and Jerry. Thank you, James. Here's Horan punting from inside his five, and the wind will be in his face. And doesn't go any place. Calvin Martin from midfield and with the blocker ahead, tumbles to the 46-yard line. So a return of about four yards after the 35-yard punt of Horan. Little Park on a Sunday afternoon here in Gotham City. 14 to six, Eagles on top, 12 and a half remaining in the game. Randall Cunningham is in once again. Each time he's been in there in the second half, they've turned it over. There's a play action, first and ten, right on the money this time to tight end Ed West and a first down to the 29, a 16-yard pickup by the former Packer and Indianapolis Colt. 
And that was a bootleg. That's not the West Coast. That was an old-fashioned bootleg. And find the old tight end. Find Ed West. And he'll catch the ball. Toolbox was Toolbox. his nickname yeah. that Brett Favre gave him up in Green yeah, Bay. Yeah, he said he'd sweep up everything. We like the old toolbox. Playing in a tight end position, which has been a disaster for the Eagles this year. As Ricky Waters is stood up by Keith Hamilton. Coming into this season, the Eagles, Jerry, had signed a kid from Green Bay named Reggie Johnson, spending a lot of money on him. He was a flop in the preseason, and really not since Keith Jackson went to Miami in 92, has this team had a quality tight end. In fact, the four tight ends they brought to training camp are all gone. They had to get Ed West off the waiver wire from Indianapolis. Well, they got the right one. Yes. Because I believe Ed West can play. He can block. He's got old knees, and you got to ice him down when it's over. But he's a football player. Seven out of nine for Cunningham to Ed West again, this time a little low and incomplete. Low and hot. You can't handle that. That short of pass, you got to take a little bit off that ball. Ed West, the toolbox, the tight end, had a good year with the Packers. And I think Ed West will help Ricky Waters. I noticed in the game when Ricky Waters got mad at somebody missing the block, Ed West went over and told him to shut up. And I think an old veteran like that can make Waters a better player. Eagles now go with four wide receivers. Third down and nine. They're inside the 30 of New York. Three down. Penalty against the Giants and an incomplete pass. Well, they were coming and cutting him, weren't they? Yeah, they, he made him jump off sides. I wonder after the last pass by the Giants quarterback, Maddox's last pass should have been intercepted like the previous two. Do you come back with Dave Brown? Bring Dave Brown back in the game, or do you do you hang on and put Maddox back in there after almost? Question. Offside, 91 defense, five yards, repeat third down. That's a good question. You, you, last three passes he throws should be picked off, so whatever happens here, do you come back with your other quarterback? 11 penalties in the game, seven against New York, Giants. 45 yards in penalty yardage. Philadelphia 4 for 20. This will be third and a long four for Randall Cunningham. Stationed at the 24 of the Giants. And Cunningham got a block. Escapes. Has to get to the 19. And Cunningham to the 21. Shy of the first down. So it's fourth and about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. All right, why couldn't he scramble? The Giants did a good job. Remember the last time we said they were man underneath? This time it's all zone. The corners are going to wait out in the flat. Everybody's looking at the quarterback this time rather than the last time when they played that 22 man. Look at the corner. Everybody's sitting in there. That's what you got to play against a quarterback that'll run. Well, Gary Anderson, who earlier missed a 45-yard field goal, will be trying a 40-yarder here. His season long is 43. Former Pittsburgh Steeler on the hold by the punter Hutton, and it is good. So the Eagles capitalize on pretty good field position. Now go up 17 to 6 on the New York Giants. Larry Lancaster, after an off week, the Eagles, if they go to 4 and 3, will be at Vet Stadium against the Rams, and that'll be a great game in a couple weeks. By the way, the Rams will play San Francisco next week on the Eagles' bye on the 22nd. Then, a Monday night date in Dallas. They're rushing the punt. They're trying to block the punt. Giants going after the punter. Hutton will punt once again. Arthur Marshall is at the 10, stationed for the New York Giants. They got it, and they blocked the punt. That's a yes. Picked up. And it will be a touchdown run on in by Omar Douglas. Elias the block, 41-yard return by Omar Douglas, who last week returned a kick and touched the ball for the first time in his NFL career. But not a bigger play as the young second-year player out of Minnesota come across than the block punt, which makes it a 17 to 12 game and credit the special teams coach for the Giants he had him on the sideline he was pumping them all up to go get it and it and he's gonna come right up the middle through here he never gets the ball off I don't believe 
the ball ever hit his foot. He's there so quick. Look at that. Keith Elias out of Princeton. Now remember, if you touch the ball, all bets are off with the punter. Don't think that's roughing the kicker or the punter. If you touch the ball, you can cream the kicker or the punter. Go for two. The Giants will go for two. Maddox at the quarterback. He'll send Pierce in motion. Hand off. Hampton dives, and they got the two points. And it is a three-point game with 4.45 to play. Omar Douglas retrieves the Keith Elias block punt. And Pete DeCamillis has got to be happy because the special teams have brought it that much closer for New York. And look at this special teams, Coach. We just had him on the screen. Here's a guy. He was that way before they blocked the punt. You should have seen him. He was pumping them up, and I got to love that guy. He was getting them ready. This is our chance to win the game. Let's go ahead and block that punt. Watch him how they get there. He's there so quick, he has no chance to get it off. Look at him. Now, you can run into him because you hit the ball. You can do anything you want to. All bets are off if you hit the ball before you hit the kicker or the punt. There were only four blocked punts in the NFL a season ago. That was number five this year, followed by the Hampton two-point conversion run. Up and over. Now the crowd's getting back into it. So just when you want to nail shut the Giants, here comes special teams. Special teams with the big players. Special, exactly what we what say before say. the game starts, special teams is going to kill the Eagles. they got to get it fixed. Jerry, they have not called that a blocked punt. They have called that a fumble. You said it didn't even hit his foot. Never hit his foot, so it can't be a blocked punt. Good call by the... But who, who makes that decision? Somebody here in the stadium? I think we should just stick with you. You saw it before anybody else. Oh, boy, I knew they had it. <laughs> and I love the special teams coach for the Giants. He was over there diagramming in the dirt. Now here's the Deloriso kickoff. It is a chip shot short of Calvin Martin. And out of bounds, so they'll go to the 35 as the flag is thrown. We're down to 441 remaining in the fourth quarter. And they come back with a terrible kickoff. The ball is placed 30 yards from the spot of the kick. First down receivers. Now he, he's there so soon that he actually hits it with his knee. He actually blocks. Watch him right here. There's the ball right there on his knee. Can you stop it right and he, there? And now, he kicked his knee. He kicked him. And that's something. The that's, punter kicked his knee. That's why it's not a block punt. <laughs> You called it, and here come the Eagles at the 40-yard line, where it's first down and 10. 17-14 Philadelphia. Cunningham remains the quarterback. Rod Carpenter is 81. And the handoff up the middle, Ricky Waters. A lot of guys had a hand on that tackle, but off the pile, Ray Agnew, along with Michael Brooks. Good gang tackling. You can't let him carry in this situation. If you're a Giant fan, you got to stop him. If you're an Eagle fan, keep your legs turning. Speaking of stopping, the Giants cannot stop the clock. They are out of timeouts. The Eagles have their full three remaining. And they come back to haunt the New York Giants. But they had to save the clock because they were down so far. I think they were calling timeouts at the right time. Second down and six for Randall Cunningham. We're now four minutes left in the game. Ricky Waters again. They send him up the middle, and he picks up a yard and a half. Jesse Campbell met him head on. Now they got a throw. Now you got Randall Cunningham. Now this is a this is five yards. This is tough. You got your chance to play zone or man. If you zone it, the guy maybe run after the catch. If you man it, they get a big play. So this is a tough call for the Giants, whether to be zone or to be man. Remember, if you're 22 man, the quarterback can run. Woo! We got a lot of things going on here. They got a 22 zone because this quarterback can I run, I can believe. Here we go. Third down and five from the 45. Cunningham throws, and it's knocked away. Great defensive play by Tito Wooten looking for Rob Carpenter, and the Eagles have got a punt, but this should come as no surprise, Jerry, because the Giant defense has played a great game today. And you got to talk. That's three times Tito has stopped the conversion. Tito Wooten has stopped it three times. It can't be any bigger play. He's got to line up and play more than on a nickel. He's going to be a football player. 
Coach Reeves says this guy's got a real future. The future's today. Now, come after the next punt. Don't assume they know 